Hi, in this video you'll find a demonstration of two backknuckle pickups while showing you the effects of different wiring tricks, series of parallel wiring, curve splitting and phase inversion. Then I'll explain you my personal general recipe for wiring that try to maximize versatility while cancelling harm as often as possible. So, I just set my two backknuckle pickups on my ESP Eclipse 2. I have a riffraff on the neck, a cold suite on the bridge, and three push push ports also available on BKP website. Everything will be recorded through a Line 6 Pod HD 500, and just check the description for more information. So now let's first try with a quite neutral clean sound. Ok, you got the idea, but now let's add some chorus, delay and reverb to really see what those sounds can bring us. Ok, so now let's see, how can I get all the sound without destroying my guitar and above all, what can you do with your guitar according to what you want? Ok, here comes the theory, here comes the schematics. So here you have basically a standard series wiring for a humbucker. The S represents the south coil, the N the north coil, at the bottom you can see the ground, and at the top, the arrow will represent the output, so generally it will be connected to the volume potentiometer. What I propose you is to add two on-on switches. I will call them S and N. If both switches are inactive, then you find again the standard series wiring. If S is active but N is inactive, 
Then you will shortcut the north coil and just keep the south coil. However, if n is active but s is inactive, you will shortcut the south coil and just keep the north coil. Finally, if both switches are active, then both coils will be put in parallel. So here you can do series and parallel wiring and coil splitting while selecting your coil. Now let's talk about home cancelling and which coil to select. Here is what you have with two standard humbuckers. On the left you have the polarity of the magnets and on the right you have the winds. To cancel hum you need to have opposite winds. So of course if you combine both coils of a single humbucker you will cancel hum. But those two combinations will also cancel hum. So those are the combination we want to have when coil splitting and combining both humbuckers and this will give you which switches to put together to control both humbuckers if you don't have 10 switches on your guitar. When inverting the face of one of the humbucker, let's say the neck, you basically invert its winds. So of course the hum cancelling combination of single coils will change. In fact, no, we won't take opposite polarities, but the same polarities in each humbucker. So if we want to do something that will cancel noise as often as possible, and if coil selecting switches for each humbucker are shared on your guitar, we need to design something that will change one of the selected coils when inverting phase. What I propose you is this circuit where both P switches are on the same switch on your guitar. Then when the P switch is inactive, we get the same circuit as before. However, when the P switch is active, the phase will be inverted. Moreover, activating the S switch will shortcut the south coil and activating the N switch will shortcut the north coil. Unfortunately, you can see that if the three switches are active, then the south and the north coil will be shortcutted. Everything will be off and thus you can't do parallel wiring while phase inverting. However, this is not a big issue since it would lead to a very very low output that won't miss you this much. So to sum up, I propose you two circuits. The first one allows you to do coil splitting while selecting the coil and parallel wiring. The second one allows you the same thing but also to invert phase. When the phase is inverted, you can still split coil, but the coil choice is inverted too, so that you will still cancel hum when using both humbuckers. So, with this recipe, you can do everything you want, or at least everything you can do, with your unknown switches. Just with the right circuit switch on the right guitar switch. Of course, different circuit switch can be implemented together, and it's not mandatory to use every switch. To conclude, I'll just provide you the wiring diagram I created so for my guitar. Both humbuckers are controlled together for coil splitting and I can invert the phase of the neck pickup while keeping cancelling hum when coil splitting and combining both humbuckers. You will find a more detailed description below the video. So that's all, thanks for watching, I hope it was interesting, mm, sorry for the English also, and um, have fun.